Hello, TJ here, and um, today I'm super duper excited because I get to uh, review one of my favourite. Well, this is the, the best salsa that I know. Um, it's one of my favourite things at the moment. I'm really into my salsas, so this one is this is Renfro's Ghost Pepper Salsa. Now, all of the Mrs. Renfro's salsas i've tried every one of them now and by far this one is the best one they're all great i love them all honestly even the mild ones they're all beautiful but this one is my favorite one carolina reaper one probably second um anyway so uh this is going on my fajitas tonight so i'm popping this one open and um i thought i might as well give you a review on it while i'm doing it so anyway, let's read a little bit to you off the label. Um, a portion of proceeds from this jar, Mrs. Renfro's ghost pepper salsa, will be donated to the Chili Pepper Institute of New Mexico State University, a research-based international non-profit organization devoted to education, research, and archiving information related to Capsicum. So that's good, that's interesting. The Institute is dedicated to educating the world about the wonders of chili peppers. Their director, Dr. Paul Bosland, worked with the Guinness Book of Rec World Records to certify the Boot Jalokia, or the ghost pepper, as the world's hottest pepper. Okay, well, that's good, that's interesting. So, we'll get round to the ingredients. Um, so sorry i'm staring at this bottle but um my eyes are a little bit dodgy if they this printing they, they make it so small on some of these things you can hardly read it ingredients tomatoes 35 percent water jalapeno peppers onions seven percent green chili peppers distilled vinegar cornstarch salt ghost peppers one percent uh, garlic spices coriander gluten free oh well, they didn't say cilantro on this it's a coriander that's that's my language okay um yeah mrs renfro's gourmet salsa hot it's low fats um and that's about it it says caution scary hot so this will liven up my fajitas let me just show you i don't know if i just showed you this the the lid mm, what a cool lid I'll cut the ghost pepper on there that's just the lid it's a beautiful um, in regards to marketing and packaging and what, and what have you a beautiful label um, let's pop this bad boy open I thought you was going to get up here biscuit video some internet style you are right let's pop this open okay It just smells of loveliness, that's all I'm going to say about that. More tomatoes, onions, I'm not picking up the ghost pepper from the smell anyway. And obviously some spices going on. Let's give this a go. Uh, mix it up a little bit. So I'm not going to man be pan be. I've got a bit of this off because I know when I show this to the camera I'm going to spill it everywhere so there you go shake your hands that's only because I'm worried about dropping it let's give it a taste then it's got some kick to it definitely just as I remember it it's beautiful and the thing about these Mrs. Renfro's uh, salsas, it tastes like it was just made. It tastes so fresh. So yeah, plenty, of, you know, it only says 1% of ghost pepper, but there's plenty going on. Honestly, it really is. Um, and you can taste the, uh, you can taste the jalapenos as well. You know, I'd love to see little green chunks of jalapeno in there. I don't know whether you'll be able to see it through the jar. Especially with my uh, cameraman skills, I'm useless. But yeah, you've got um, jalapenos going on. 
sun's just gone in, so uh, it's gone a little bit dark out here. Um, yeah, you can eat plenty of tomatoes in it. Chunks of onion, uh, chunks, like I said, of, of jalapeno. Um, a little bit of vinegar, not vine too vinegar forward, which I like that. I like vinegar, I've got nothing against vinegar, but some of these sauces and salsas have got a little bit too much for my liking. You know, I think it overpowers everything. Um, but if you get the balances right, you know, you could put three different types of vinegar in a hot sauce. If you get them balances right, you don't really notice it, it just adds flavour to it, you know. I'm going to give it another go with the other spoon because I don't want to taint this, um, by dipping a dirty spoon back, back into the salsa. Let's give it another go. Give it some lovely chunks on it. This is where I spill it all over the table. Whoops, keep your hand steady, Tony. There you go. Yeah, just like I said, all over the blooming table. Never mind, I'll have to lick it off in a minute. Can you actually? Absolutely wonderful. Really tasty salsa. I can't tell you much more about the flavour. It's the same as what I just said, but um, beautiful. <coughs> Got the back of my throat here. You know, for only 1% ghost pepper, there's a lot of ghosts going on in there, I tell you. And it's got a real lovely smoky flavour to it as well. Don't know whether they smoke the peppers or not. But yeah, that is lovely. So there'll be a link in the description to uh, Mrs. Renfro's website. I got mine from Hotheads. It'll be a link to them as well. I don't know whether they've got any left. If you're in the UK, go to them. You'll get it in a couple of days. Um, but yeah, please try this this brand, Mrs. Renfro's. Uh, to all the like big chili heads, they will know about this brand. And there ain't many people that say a bad word about them. You know, it's beautiful, fresh, full of flavour, full of heat as well. Uh, there's a lot of milder versions as well. Um, but the, this and the, the Carolina Reaper will pack a bit of a punch. Um, so I'm really looking forward to my chicken fajitas tonight because I'm going to smother them in this. Um, so yeah, that is it, Mrs. Renfrows. Let's get this focus a bit better. Ghost pepper. Salsa. And I'm just going to show you the lid again. I don't know whether I had it upside down last time. Probably did. But hold on. Here we go. Just the blooming lid. How cool is that? Good artwork. Good packaging. Brilliant. And that's it. That's that's me done. I'm going to go and cook my dinner now. Uh, but that was a nice little warm up. It was a bit chilly now. The sun's going in. It's gone a bit wind, li li like windy outside. But um, I was a bit chilly. I thought, should I do this indoors or? or out here, but um, that's warm me up. Yeah, that's really warm me up. Might have to have a spoonful with uh, that every morning before I go to work in the winter, just to warm me up a little bit. But yeah, if you like the videos, like, share, subscribe, um, leave a comment in the comments box. If you wanna have a little chat with me, I will get back to you, I always do. Um, so that was, uh, my Mrs. Renfro's Ghost Pepper Salsa um, review. And uh, the next one I'm going to do will be the Carolina Reaper. Oh yeah, baby. Um, that, again, I've tried. It's hot. So, I've been TJ Burns. Thank you.